guess coming out to India is me thinking about wanting to go forward and do my own stuff and do, and do my own line, which I've always wanted to do for years, but I guess always put it off because it was never the right timing and because I work for corporate organisations. And now I'm just at a point in my life where I think it's the right timing to do something quite small, quite unique, quite niche. And I, I love the concept of keeping a craft alive as well. So if I'm making something, I'm also going out into small communities and I guess doing collaborations with craftspeople so that I'm bringing my Western commercial expertise and I'm working with their indigenous craft and we're producing something beautiful. Their energy, that healing, creative energy is going into the product and then paying them a fair price for the product. So hopefully I'm, keep, a, I'm keeping a craft alive by bringing work to them so they can feed their family, send the kids to school. And then for the, the customer, I guess I want to produce a middle market product. It's niche, beautiful, but then they get the story that goes with their product. So they've got total transparency on where it's from, who's made it. What, what, what part of India it's come from, how, like what, what percent, hopefully what percentage of their price they paid for it is going back to the craftspeople.